Hi guys, and we're back with another bench session, and we're going to be looking at uh, whether you need to wear a belt while benching again. And we're going to do 140 kilos, aiming for six sets of six. So I have a look at that. So I hope you enjoy, and see you when we start lifting. Hi guys, and welcome back. And like the intro said, we're back with the second part in our series looking at whether you should wear a belt while benching. And like I said in the intro, we're doing 140 kilos. We're aiming for six sets of six. So this is the first set. We're doing it without a belt. And we're obviously going for the 140 kilos for six reps. Like we did in the last video, we're doing a pause on the first rep and then a slight pause on the ones after that and if i need to we'll go to touch and goes a bit later in the set so just get myself nice and set as you can see first one nice long pause and that bar moving really well so as you can see we've not got the belt on here and we're able to get a nice high chest position a good arch and we're really able to control that weight nicely and everything is moving nice and smoothly as i'd expect you know if the first set of 140 for six wasn't moving well i think i'd be quite disappointed to be honest with you so that's the first set done. Now we're from the second set. So here we've got the belt back on. And we're gonna get ourselves set up nice and ready. So as you can see now, as we're setting up with the belt, we come forward and I just feel like I can't get that chest height the same. It takes a lot longer to get down into a good position. So, and I'm just gonna set my hands here and come down. So I feel like here, I feel like when I put the belt on, I was tighter in terms of like a brace. And as you can see, the bar's moving really well as well, a nice quick pace. Um, maybe a little bit slower than the first set, but obviously there is a little bit of fatigue coming in now. That one definitely moving slower. So I feel like with the belt on, I'm maybe not getting in as quite a good position. Um, so really my conclusion so far in this is that not having a belt on helps you get into a slightly better position but having the belt on gives you a slightly stronger brace so it's depending what you want to benefit from the most while you're benching so this is now set number five so we're just going to get ourselves set up so we're just going to show you the last two sets as well so we're getting ourselves set up. The other two sets have moved nicely. Obviously, a little bit of fatigue kicking in here. So we're getting ourselves nice and set. Now, one thing it is hard to see here, we're obviously having quite a baggy t-shirt on, is how good the arch actually is. One good thing about wearing the belt is because it pulls all the clothing, you can see the arch in videos like this. But as you can see, first one with a little bit of pause, moving nicely. A little bit of pause in the second one, again, moving nicely. And the weight continues to move pretty well uh, as we go through the reps. So that was the fourth rep, I believe. We're now coming on to rep number five. A little bit harder, a little bit of a jiggle. Going to get our chest nice and high. And as we come up, and this one was a bit of a grinder, a bit hard, and then obviously just getting the bar back in the rack. But I was able to get in like a good position and move there to be able to get that rep out. Uh, it definitely took a lot out of me, that rep. Uh, it was a proper uh, grinder rep. Um, so yeah, so now I'm coming on to the last set. So we've got the belt back on here, trying to give you a different angle to look at the uh, sets as I do with them. So we're just going to get ourselves set up. So this is the sixth set. Obviously, we're aiming for six reps again. 140 kilos on the bar. So we're just going to get ourselves nice and set up. We're going to pull ourselves forward in a second, uh, as you can see. And as you can see, because we've got the belt on, you do get a clearer indication of the arch. Um, even though this angle isn't like the best for seeing it, but you can just see that little bit of light coming through there. And we're going to get ourselves set up. So we're going to bring the bar down. We're going to do a little bit of a pause again and press again it's looking slower than that first rep but it's sometimes it's hard to obviously compare because i'm doing this as the second rep uh, and as we're coming down moving nice so far fourth everything's starting to slow down a little bit now and then we're going to come to the fifth slow again sixth now i see this is where we are actually going to fail this rep and now what i think i've learned from doing this is um when I don't have the belt on, if I'm in a position where I need to just bring my chest a little bit higher, I have the ability to pull my chest up towards the bar a bit more without the belt on. Obviously, decreasing that range of motion and just helping me get past the sticking point. Um, also, I now look like I'm trapped in the bench here, but I have actually had the safety set perfectly so I can just uh, swing out of there. So, from this second video, looking at whether I should wear, you should wear a belt or not, um, I feel like if you feel like you lack bracing strength when you're benching, it's best to put the belt on. But if you feel like your positional... Uh, ability is something that's actually going to help you bench more than not wearing a belt would be the benefit at the moment just to add to this i've just had a client who has just pb'd her bench in a competition uh, she got 157.5 kilos um which was a 7.5 kilo comp pb and she's gone from wearing a belt to not wearing a belt and she found it much very beneficial 
But coming back to the video, we just finished our close grip inclines, a great way of increasing power of the strength and increasing power in the triceps and strength in the triceps as well. We then come on to some bent over rows. Uh, I think we're doing 85 kilos here, so relatively easy. Just obviously, as everybody says, if you want a strong bench press, you need to have a strong back as well. So you need to make sure that you're doing your back work as well. We then come on to some reverse grip lat pull downs. Again, it's just all about increasing that power of everything that you're going to use in the bench. When you're bringing the bar down in the bench, you want to feel like your back and your lats when they're activated properly, is it's like you're coiling a spring and you can feel that tension building them. And then when you go to press, you release that tension that you built and it gives you a nice strong pop off the chest. We then go to my all time favorite tricep workout, which is a JM press. And as you can see, we're coming down here, getting ourselves nice and set and then pressing out of the motion. So I know this looks like a skull crusher, but the difference is you press out of the motion rather than just trying to straighten your arms like you would in, say, like a tricep extension. It can look very similar and obviously it's a very like nuanced difference between the lifts. But I find that this gives me so much of like a burn in my triceps um, and always helps my triceps get stronger and also helps them grow in size as well. Because obviously big triceps is what everybody really wants uh, because it's what makes your arms look the biggest biggest and yeah just exploding that doing this nice and light we're only at 45 kilos but you really don't need a lot of weight to do these properly uh, so it's a good way of working the tricep without adding too much fatigue to the body we're now doing some face pulls again working those rear delts again trying to get those areas that we're going to tighten up when we're doing our bench when we're getting nice and set up we're just trying to get them nice and strong and then we're just going to finish off with some hammerhead curls hammer curls are the best bicep variation for improving your bench because they're also going to improve some forearm strength as well but that's it for the session guys we're going to come back with next week's session again looking at whether you need to wear a belt or not when you're benching but apart from that guys if you did like remember to like subscribe and leave any questions in the comments below thank you for watching